Lafayette University Laboratory School, again, was founded in 1922 on the premise of educating uh, students and, and student teachers in conjunction with the College of Education, and we still hold to that fact uh, today. Uh, the most important profession uh, that we hold dear and I hold it dear to my heart is one of education and being a teacher and we're teachers every day here at the laboratory school. Uh, we have had the ability to reach all other fields. Uh, the laboratory school along with the university have produced doctors, lawyers, politicians, uh, national renowned um, artists such as singers and, and visual artists, digital artists, uh, individuals working at NASA, uh, working at various higher level uh, institutions, Southern University uh, and the like, and, and having a laboratory school to be able to do that for the last 100 years, uh, it's very difficult to quantify its true impact because um, it, is, it is just a profound place for students who look like me to be able to go to school. In terms of education, I came to Southern Lab in the fourth grade from a predominantly white school, so I wasn't able to talk about the things such like the most we got into black history was Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King, and that was it. And coming to Southern Lab, it was kind of a culture shock because I was able to learn more about myself from people like me. The academic standard here, it's like really uplifting a lot of the teachers that help you push more and succeed. For instance, when I was in the seventh grade, I scored a 21 on the ACT, which qualified me for dual enrollment. And instead of being like, okay, even though you qualify, we're going to wait, they actually decided to put me into the program in seventh grade. And although I didn't technically start taking the classes until ninth grade, they still were allowed me to go to Southern and get walkthroughs. And I was able to talk to people about different options for dual enrollment. And they were just very accommodating to me because I understand it's a little bit out of the norm but they're very much accommodating and they make sure that everyone from all the academic walks of life are okay. Being a Southern Lab student is definitely a high standard. You know, there are a lot of things that come with being a Southern Lab student um, because, you know, you have people coming back here as doctors, lawyers, entrepreneurs, you know, high class people and they have high standards because they went here and they also want you to meet those standards. So it's not really any pressure, but it is definitely an honor, you know, to go to this school and just be around so much legacy, so many legends that have walked the same halls that I'm walking through. It's all it's all like a family to me and you could probably ask anyone that went here. Uh, my mom used to work here and she still comes back and they treat her the same. Um, everyone is treated like a family here, you know, um, if you have a problem, you can go to any faculty member, any teacher, you know, talk to them, they're not going to push you away, they're going to accept you, they're going to help you with your problems and things like that. You know, I can go to any of my coaches and my teachers and my faculty um, and they will help me with any problem that I need. Southern Lab prepared me very well for college and for what I've done after college. When I went to Southern Lab, it was before integration. So Southern Lab was the school for black children at the time that I was, was here. We had very, very dedicated teachers. They were very committed. They wanted you to do well, and they were strict. They gave you work, and they expected you to do it. But that prepared us. We were ready when we left Southern Lab. I had some very committed teachers. One that stands out for me was Earlene Pate Brown, probably because she was the business teacher. So I took general business, shorthand typing, and bookkeeping. And that led me to major in accounting and go on and get a PhD in accounting. So Earlene was very, very influential in my life. Uh, my homeroom teacher was Frances Holmes. She was a very committed science teacher, very strict, wanted you to do your work ran our home homeroom very um, efficiently. And then there was Nell Rose Jordan, who was our PE teacher. She was a committed teacher too. She um, ran the girls' physical ed program and basketball team, and she just did a wonderful job to prepare us physically for, uh, for our future. Uh, first of all, let me just tell you that uh, Southern Lab has been in my blood uh, since I was uh, two or three years old, because I grew up on the campus. I came through the nursery school and um, all the way through a Southern Lab from first grade through 12. And Southern Lab has always been an excellent academic 
institution all those years. And I learned that from my parents, but also from the people who were ahead of me. Uh, we had excellent role models, um, and we had an excellent principal who was Miss Alice Almira Bowley, who always told us that, uh, uh, first of all, uh, what you are at six is an indication of what you're going to be at 60. She said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Out of the mouth come the issues of the heart. So all of those things were drilled into us, and we were taught to be academically excellent. In those days, there was a thing on the campus called the State Rally, and those were uh, opportunities for us to be tested and measured against other, actually black or African Americans in the state. And the Southern University Laboratory School was usually at the top of those, those uh, areas. My area at that time was French. Uh, I've scored second in the state in French uh, when I was a, a, a freshman, and then as a sophomore I was first. And then in the, when in the 11th grade, I was second in the state in English, and then in the, in the 12th grade I was first. And that's the way it was among all of us. We were all uh, very good students. Even the, the, the ones who were the worst students were excellent students. So we, we were all in competition with each other. And so it was, it's always been an excellent place to be. And I was blessed to be here and have good teachers as mentors. Uh, that was Ms. Bowley, Ms. Um, Ms. Uh, Herson, who was our English teacher and later became principal, um, Ms., uh, Ms., Ms., Ms. Uh, Ross and Ms. Couch, uh, who was a, a, a civics and history teacher. I understand they don't teach civics anymore, but she was outstanding. Um, Ms. Kraft, who was our math teacher, Mr. Reynolds, all those people were excellent people who eventually uh, taught uh, uh, up on the campus. So they were really college teachers teaching us. And uh, so we really benefited from that. I particularly benefited because even though I was in the student council, and president of the student council, played football, ran track, I did finish number one in my class. So I, I really particularly benefited from the overall institution and from the people who are my mentors, which were teachers, but also students. You know, we, we may not pay that much attention to it, but a lot of times the people that are most important to the kids in, in school are the, uh, are the people who are ahead of them in class. You know, if, if you're a freshman, you, saw, you look up to the seniors. and They are your role models and your mentors. Even though your parents tell you what to do, if you don't have those people to, to set a good example for you uh, when you're coming along, sometimes you, 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 you stray. And I want to just say that, that we had outstanding uh, student mentors when I was coming along. Say, um, I am probably, I mean, my mother will share stories of having been a dancer, and obviously that's a form of athletics, but I really believe that I'm the first person to get an athletic scholarship in my family. And, um, you know, discovered that I was an athlete in kindergarten, being able to run, but it was not necessarily something that was etched in my family history. By the time I got to uh, middle school, I was playing sports recreationally, and and, um, and then got to high school, ninth grade, and uh, wasn't here at Southern Lab, but was at another school and transferred here because I had heard how great athletics was here as well as academics and wanted to be able to be stretched athletically because I was doing so well. And I got here and man, the competition, it not only stretched me, but made me an uh, you know, exceptional athlete. I mean, I was a three sport athlete. I ran track, I played basketball, I played volleyball. I was Louisiana Female Athlete of the Year coming out of high school. But it was the environment that forged not only family, relationships, but also excellence in every aspect of our lives. And I had great coaching, great athletic directors, people that were behind me. And it's so funny, like Southern Lab's a great family. There were people who would just come to games to support me that had no connection, were not related, but just loved that green and gold and anybody who was wearing it uh, in support of. And so um, it allowed me to win state in the one or two in the high jump you know, excel in volleyball and basketball, um, all district, all state honors, and then go on to Tulane and play collegiately on a scholarship um, and play professionally and have experiences in Austria, lived in Austria and traveled all over 
Eastern and Western, Western Europe uh, playing volleyball. And so um, just the exposure through athletics, obviously I excelled academically. I was top five in my class graduating, but being a part of Southern Lab, the family, the rich history, has just followed me through every step of the way as an individual. It's uh, helped me become a great mother of four, wife, and um, I bleed green and gold. When I first came here in 1987, I didn't come here to a school where there were no championships. Championships had already started from the very beginning. Um, and right now in our gym, the evidence is there from one side of the gym all around to the other side. And that's, we have all of our banners, even from the very beginning. Uh, we have everything, tennis, basketball, uh, football, track. We have everything that's on that wall over there. Uh, my contrib uh, contributions is, uh, I started, my first uh, coaching career started in 1990. Then there was a little break in between. And then we started back up with the track team. And that was my first uh, championship. And when we started winning, then we started off uh, winning in outdoor track. And then out the outdoor track, then came cross country. Uh, my outdoor track team members were the ones who won the, um, they were the ones who won the uh, cross country team, uh, cross country championship. Also um, with the indoor track, that was a little bit different because it wasn't just our classifications, it was all classifications. Uh, we also did uh, 16 consecutive years where we won uh, championships. And that's, uh, that's all to the type of students, athletes that I had, and also the type of athletes that are here at Southern Lab today. Uh, I can remember uh, one time there was a saying that was going around here that tradition never graduates. And it was just traditionally for them to participate and to be successful. And over the years, they have just, athletics have been on top. And that's different aspects of it. Uh, we didn't have baseball at one time. And then we got baseball, we had soft girls softball. Uh, we don't have softball now, but we have had it in the past. We've had everything, you name it, we've had it. And we have been uh, champions in that. And it's also because of the the family atmosphere that our athletes experience. We were a family, and that's when I first came aboard. Uh, it was just a family thing. And right now, some of the people that I'm seeing here tonight, I remember when I first saw them growing up through, coming through the halls here, and they became champions. And it's just been a great experience for me to be here uh, at the lab school to be a part of so many state championships. And right now, okay, what is the total? Uh, <laughs> I, I know it's over 106. So there aren't that many schools that can boast that they have that many. And the evidence is the hardware that's out there in the lobby. And that's all of the state championships only are there. Uh, first runner-ups and stuff like that, that's over in the library. But it's, there aren't very many schools that can say they have what we have here now at Southern Lab and what has constantly gone on for us for all of those years. I'm just so proud to have been a part of athletics here at Southern Lab and hopefully everything will go on smoothly. And I can't be remiss, remiss without saying, no, I did not graduate from Southern Lab, but my son did. And he's now an assistant track coach. So um, we're keeping it in the family with him. And I just appreciate everything, all of the directors and principals that we've had over the uh, years that I had the opportunity to, to work with, uh, the coaches, students, parents, everybody. I just appreciate everybody. So, Southern University Laboratory School holds more championships, state championships than any other school 
uh, in the state of Louisiana. And when you start thinking about uh, legendary coaches like Coach Porter, Coach Perkins, uh, Joe Hawkins, Rebecca Marshall, and the like, um, the, their impact in terms of what they have done from an athletic standpoint, again, you, you, can't, put, you can't put data to it. Um, I've, I've known those individuals from an elementary standpoint, and I played for some of them. And what they did for us in terms of character development, leadership, uh, dedication, hard work, how to walk in the gym, walk on the athletic playing surface with pride, knowing you're going with confidence, uh, you're going to be prepared, you, you have to have grit, you have to have everything you need to be successful. Um, that speaks volume to the championship that we won. Those are the same values we still instill in our student athletes uh, today. Of course, athletics is the front porch for a lot of academic institutions. It is, the, it is the draw that gives attention to a lot of schools. And it, has, it definitely helped uh, Southern Lab continue uh, to grow in enrollment because people want to be a part of winners. And there's no other better winner than State University Laboratory School uh, in the state of Louisiana. Back in the day when I was here, um, athletics was like through the roof. You talking about Joe Hawkins, you talking about um, just Coach Combs, you know, just winning and winning and winning. Um, I could never forget my first championship. Um, I was young, I was probably like seventh or eighth grade. Um, and I have an opportunity to, you know, come here, play a huge role, and then win three championships. Um, behind football, boys basketball, it was just, it was just amazing. And now, coaching here, we're trying to get back to that tradition, to where it was winning at the eSport. Um, baseball was thriving, track was thriving. And now we have swimming, so now we have some different programs that are you know, shooting up through the roof um, and trying to take off too as well. And so um, just being back here as a coach uh, and then trying to get that back to be a part of something so big um, was awesome. And then last year with us winning three, um, football, boys basketball, girls basketball, back to back, you talking about it was an amazing feeling. Um, almost took me back to when I was here, you know, I was playing um, as a student. There are two types of people in this world, those who went to the lab and those who wanted to go to the lab. I know my fellow alum <laughs> eat that up. Um, it's a certain pride. Uh, the family atmosphere, the family vibe that has been here for the past century still exists. You know, one good thing about being at a laboratory school such as Southern Lab, our kids, many of our kids start in pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, and they stay all the way to their 12th grade year. Well, the relationships now shifts, right? Because you're not just, you don't just have classmates that you meet in ninth grade and you stay for four years. You meet families, because many times, like my personal family, um, I have a fifth grader, um, and when my son was there, I had a 12th grade and 11th grader. Well, all, all, of our, all of those families now are intermingled because now when my son, my youngest son is with his sister or with his older brother, his friends now have adopted my fifth grader or my fourth grader into their family. And so that's just a, a snapshot of, from an alumni standpoint, why is it important to have a laboratory school exist because you're, you're intermingling families for generations. And so you take uh, the gala, you take homecoming, it wasn't just about a particular class. Our, our alum, um, we are alum for all classes to be honest with you because we reached, it's four or five years ahead of us, five years behind us because we're so interconnected from a, from a family standpoint. And that family atmosphere still exists today. to look back at everything that made me you know when people look at the successes uh, and the awards and all these other things those couldn't be possible without the uh, steps that got me here and one of the integral parts has been Southern University Laboratory High School you know I go back and for me it was where I learned by all the skills that I have that really allowed me you know to be successful uh, in life uh, so it was very, very easy. These are lifelong friends, the people that I've known since the eighth grade. And every kid that's here at Southern Lab, I see myself in them. And, you know, for me, uh, I've always lived by, you know, to save the world, you got to save the man next to you. So for me, that means starting at home. And Southern Lab was, uh, you know, has been and will always be home. And I attribute it to the successes that I've had. So what I wanted to do. Uh, we made a conscious effort 
uh, in when my daughter was in, in fourth grade, my son was in second, to kind of come back to the laboratory school. And there were probably were some things that, you know, needed to be addressed, but, you know, it, it, it was happy uh, for us to come and, and to be home. And if I back up for a minute, the, I think one of the things that's happened with Southern Lab is we've been victims of our own success. That the fact that uh, the kids that I was in school with, that we graduated, these are doctors, professional uh, uh, NBA players, you know, corporate execs, and we were in a position where we could send our children anywhere we wanted. And so when people ask me, you know, you can send your kids, you know, from a financial standpoint or from a, um, a networking standpoint to any school you want to uh, in the state. And what I said, absolutely, that's why I'm here at Southern Lab. So, you know, we wanted to start home. I've been uh, extremely happy and successful because it's one thing to say that you're an alum, right? And, and, and you appreciate things that the school has done for you, but the way you display that is by not only giving back to the school, but more so giving your most precious commodity. So when I brought my children here, that was the statement that I said that I was home and, um, and I was kind of here to stay. I wanted my kids to be in the environment that I was in. I wanted my kids to be, you know, uh, uh, in the majority, I wanted my kids to be comfortable, and I wanted to empower my kids to come out like I did to think that I can, you know, own the world. And so not only my daughter, I've got a son, you know, that's in 10th grade. So, you know, as a family, we are extremely happy and successful, and we look forward to continuing, um, you know, what we're doing with Southern Lab. Now, you know, one of the things I like to, you know, to really point out is I gave to Southern Lab since 1992. So it didn't start when my, when my daughter was here. There's countless people that we've helped. There's things that we've done. And what I've asked everybody that we've helped and every scholarship is you represent the school and you continue to be a light and you continue to help you know somebody else. So to say that we're pleased is a is an understatement. So so we're happy. The southern the Miss Southern Lab thing, you know you know that was fine. You know that was a blessing. But more so, I love what my daughter's going to take from this experience. And my expectation for her is, and my challenge is, you be the same uh, beacon of light and to help and to give back. So we've got some things that we're going to do here. Some incredible things that we are really looking forward to that's going to take this school, you know, to the next millennium. As an alum, it is important to me to make sure that the school continues for another hundred years. Um, I've, I've shared my thoughts with influential individuals that what we do today from a policy procedure uh, and protocol standpoint, that we have to make sure that the foundation is there to make sure uh, whoever the next principal is, the next director is, the next set of teachers, the next set of students. A foundation is there and is cemented to continue for 100 more years. Um, it's important for our alum to stay engaged, whether you're in town, whether you're out of town, um, send your kids here or not. Um, stay linked in on social media, uh, stay linked in on the news, come to the games, come to the school. If you're out of town, whenever you're in Baton Rouge, one of your stops has to be Southern University and come to the lab school to see what's going on so we can make sure that the laboratory school ex extends uh, for 100 more years. Um, it is important to stay active in our foundation. Um, it's important to stay active in terms of being part of our alumni association that we got started uh, this year. Those are ways that is important for our graduates and our alum and stakeholders uh, to stay engaged. Graduated from sixth grade, my parents gave me two choices, Baker High School or Southern University Laboratory School. I chose Southern University Laboratory School because I had a strong family uh, presence at the school. So when I got here, the family atmosphere of all of my classmates being a part of a family just increase because my friends were the product of their parents, their siblings, so we just were uh, a whole big family here and when we graduated the traditions and the, uh, the traditions of the laboratory school from back in the day from when the 40s, 50s just carried on with us. We, we knew who we were, we all identified with each other, we knew each other's families, we were very close-knit 
group of people and we just continued that and when we graduated our classes stayed very close knit. I graduated with 66 people in my class and even though we've lost six or seven people, we still get together regularly, we talk all the time, we keep up with each other, we have newsletters, and I find it for all classes from the 40s up to the 2000s. So Southern University Laboratory School is family. Over the last few years, even though we have a strong, rich alumni, we have not done a whole lot to bring all, all of us back together. So under Herman Bristol's leadership, he was able to form the advisory board along with the Alumni Association. We are now uh, growing in rank and number, for, uh, finding our alums, bringing them back, helping them to raise money. As you know, we're well over our $100,000 mark goal for the centennial year. Uh, the advisory board serves as the fundraising arm and we love and want to continue to help Southern University Laboratory School prosper. So our goal is to raise money, uh, find funding, do whatever's necessary through alumni giving, corporate giving, Southern University giving, state giving, whatever we can do to bring money to the Southern University Laboratory School is what our goal is. I just want to thank everyone who attended the gala, uh, who attended homecoming, uh, thank our alum. Uh, we love you. I know y'all love the lab school. We're excited about the good things that are happening. Uh, continue to stay engaged. Continue to stay on our, if you're not on our email list, if you're not on social media, connect, 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 because uh, it's going to take everyone to continue to embrace uh, the legacy of the school so it can continue for 100 more years. Well, right now, our motto right now, and one thing we say constantly here is autograph your work with excellence. If your name is on it, if the Southern Lab name is on it, then it has to represent excellence. Uh, that is the standard. That's, that's the standard that the university expects of me as a director, in respect of our faculty, staff, our students. Um, and that's our alum expect that. When, when, when your name is attached to it, whether it's your personal name, family name, and or the Southern Lab name, it has to represent excellence. And in the classroom, that's what we want our students to embody is to make sure that they put the work in, they put the time in, and to make sure uh, that they're autographed and they'll work with excellence. And they're gonna pay, it's gonna pay dividends uh, down the road. Um, we don't expect anything less. It's, it's for our students, no matter where they come from, no matter where, what, how they perform academically, just give me your best and we'll take care of the rest uh, once you begin to leave, leave the lab school. Uh, and it is proven that many of our alum who have left the lab school, they have, success, have experienced success in all walks of life, whether it's owning a business or working for someone in a business. Um, their roots in terms of autographing their work with excellence has proven to be successful in their lives. I would like to thank all of our illustrious alumni who supported us during this centennial year, even though you, if you came, gave on Give Day, you participated in homecoming, or you're sitting here tonight for the gala. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your financial support to this great institution. We love you, we appreciate you, we look forward to your participation as we continue to make Southern University great. The few, the proud, the lab.